Greetings to you and welcome to another installment of our devotionals looking at the seven I am statements recorded in the gospel according to John. Today we'll reflect on the statement that I think is both profound and provocative. Please turn to John chapter 14 and we'll read some few verses beginning with verse 1. John writes, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have not told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. See, what makes me think that the statement is profound and at the same time provocative is because here Jesus clearly and unequivocally proclaimed his nature, his identity, and the human predicament, and then sets out his ultimate mission. Effectually, in these few words, he's saying, I and I alone can accomplish this task God the Father has assigned to me, bringing humanity to glory. So in this passage, we meet the troubled and perturbed, anxiety-filled disciples. They were in this state because Judas was going to betray him. Peter was going to deny him. And more seriously, Jesus was going to leave them. You could say he was going to be isolated from them. There is a sense in which many of us today share the same feelings like the disciples then. And Jesus stands in our midst and says, let not your hearts be troubled or agitated or be anxious, be edgy. Do not be disturbed or apprehensive or even feel fearful. Have faith in Jesus and believe in God. We may not know what is going to happen beyond COVID-19 pandemic. From the look of things, life is going to be hard for many of us. Jobs are threatened. Our health system is challenged. The economy is under duress. The nation is in distress. It is under this kind of circumstances we are called to look to Jesus and see him as their way, the truth, and life. Friends, when life here on earth deals us a bad hand, Jesus is the way. He does not merely show us the way. He himself is the way to God. Through him we have access to all that his Father offers. He leads the way. He guides us as we follow him. And he has dedicated for us a new and a living way. The human predicament I alluded to earlier is that we are all lost. That is the starting point of our reality. As a matter of fact, we are on the way to destruction. In Proverbs 14 verse 12, the writer says, There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end, it leads to death. But our faith in him shatters the barriers of sin and death and blasts open the road to eternal life of the kingdom of God. He is that path and that road that leads us to life. Jesus, friends, is the only way for any person to have a relationship with God. Not only did Jesus say he's the way, Jesus also said he's the truth. No one expresses it better than the psalmist when he says in Psalm 86, verse 11, Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may live according to your truth. Jesus Christ is the very embodiment of truth. He is the truth in person, and the reality and the truth of God are incarnated in him. All that we need to know and believe about God is actually found in him. Friends, we live in a generation where truth is relative. You see, your truth is your truth. Your belief and believe in whatever suits you, it's, it's just you, 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 yours alone. In other words, there are no absolutes in this system of thinking. Because Jesus is the truth, we can know God and experience him intimately and personally. Jesus is the truth because he's dependable, 
He's also the source of our redemptive revelation. He's the way that became flesh with the view to reveal God to humanity. Lastly, Jesus is life. He's the source and the giver of all who trust in him. Remember, the devil has come to kill and to steal and to destroy, but Jesus came so that we have life and have it in abundance. I leave you with this quote said so beautifully by Thomas Akempis, where he writes, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without the way, there is no going. Without truth, there is no knowing. Without life, there is no living. I am the way which thou should pursue, the truth which thou should believe, the life which thou should hope for. God bless you, dear friend. And if we can help you, please be in touch with us and use the contact details on the screen.